Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tana. Welcome to my beautyverse. If you are interested in project planning as well as, you know, beauty and skincare and makeup tutorials, please feel free to subscribe, share and like my videos or in general watch them if you want to. You know, that would be really highly appreciated as well as, you know, I would love to have you in my uh, or on my journey uh, on YouTube and so on. So if you have watched actually the two previous videos of this series you know where i actually use up or not use up use my wet and white eyeshadow palettes which are currently in my pan those eyeshadows uh, project pan you will know that i actually plan to make uh, you know individual looks with each eyeshadow palette that i have in this collection or in this project so i will always use one eye or i will use one palette on one eye and then just make the short video and then start the next one. So you will see today I am actually going to, or you will notice um, already that I still wear the same outfit and so on. The lighting situation is not ideal because it's gray in the Netherlands and it's about to rain. And I turn on the ceiling lights as well as the little ring light that I have here. So um, I will try to make, you know, pictures uh, with the DSLR camera so that you can see the eyeshadow look in natural light you know not in, in this artificial light because it doesn't you know show the real color payoff and so on so long sh story short i already primed and set my eye base eye, uh, eye primer and so on so i'm just going to take off uh, the glasses and um, while i'm doing my eye makeup i'm going to use this little uh, eyeshadow mirror from uh, eye <laughs> eyeshadow mirror i say always eyeshadow mirror why not you know this little hand mirror from uh, Glamcore you know it has uh, different light settings and so on so my sh <laughs> face will be more shiny and so on so please bear with me if I look down I will try also you know to go closer to the camera and that so you can see what I'm actually doing I just try to make it simple you know because sometimes we don't have so much time to do eye our eyeshadows or our eyes very delicate or you know very intricate eye makeup looks and so on so this is for me what i would do normally if i were in a hurry and i needed to go so now for this video i thought about you know taking this eyeshadow palette i said before you know it's very difficult to uh, work with these two eyeshadows because I, I i said in the previous video my i have brown eyes so it works with blue yes it works usually you know brown eyes and blue uh blue color or blue eyeshadow would work but look for me, these are two different dimensions. This one is a very sky color, you know, very light, very bright sky color. And then you have this dark brown, you know, the combination of both will be difficult, I think, you know. This one you can use as a, you know, always to set your, you know, eyeshadow or uh, eye primer and so on. And this uh, could be also used as a transition color. But for me, this color is totally, you know, not... Uh, complementary to the uh, above eyeshadows so what i thought about was actually i will just make a brown uh, eye look brown you know brown eyeshadow look and that's it and then i would just you know apply uh, let's say um a brown eyeliner from kiko milano here this is the intense uh, long lasting eyeliner and that's it you know um so if I want to, I could actually darken it up with another eyeshadow, but I will not do it. I will just try to use this, only this eyeshadow. So bear with me. I will just take off my glasses and then I will just go ahead to use, you know, so the eyeshadow. What I will do is actually, I'm using this, you know, shader brush. I mean, it's not a shader brush, but it's flat enough, you know, and it's a blending brush, but still it's good for application and you know as you can see the eyeshadow is very very powdery so meaning you know i will have a lot of kickback so i try to remove it afterwards okay let me turn off so And as you can see, that's it, you know. I mean, of course, now 
I can, what I will do is actually, I, because I still have residue from the previous look, the green eyeliner, I tried to remove it. I will just use the green eyeliner on my waterline, you know, so green and brown fits as well. You see? And then I will just use the brown. I can show it to you. It has a little bit of sparkles in it, so. You see, this is the eyeshadow look that I would do. So, and just to clean up, you know, the edges here because to tidy them up. Again, my trick, you know, have a little bit foundation on your, on the back of your hand, and just apply it along. So, and of course, you know, if if you want, you could go ahead and. Let me clean this brush and try to blend the edges a little bit more so that it's, you know, let's see. Okay. Okay, there was a little bit of other eyeshadow on it. Now it ruined the whole look, but still, let me fix this one. Oh, you see, the devil is behind me. <laughs> My cat is now working her way to the scene of the crime. Okay, let me do this one. Okay. So I applied the, you know, I should a little bit higher than I would usually do, but still, you know, so. Okay, and I will also try to insert some stills or, you know, some pictures of the eye look in natural daylight so you can see then, you know, how it really looks and how is the color payoff. So that was the first look. Very quick and easy. If you like this video, please, you know, give me a thumbs up or subscribe and share. Just, you know, if, if you have a comment, if you liked something or so, let me know. But besides that, this is the first eyeshadow look or eye look that I made with this wet and white eyeshadow palette. And if you have a similar color story, you can just use the brown, for example, and then two different eyeliners, and that's a complete look. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.